Hello, this is your professor Ian. This is my uh, Canvas walkthrough for this course. I like to provide a guide for all my courses, showing students how I use Canvas. Canvas is an important component of uh, your educational experience these days, even for face-to-face -face courses like this one. Um, especially courses like this one where it's a zero-cost course, which means you don't have to buy a textbook. All the readings are available through online, no-cost sources that I found and, and I post to Canvas. That means, though, that for us, Canvas is a super important hub because all the readings are here, right? So I'll, I'll show you around. I'll show you how I set up Canvas. If you've taken any courses that use Canvas, you'll know that professors all have their own ways of using this. So um, it's uh, useful to see how I'm going to use it. So <clears throat> over here is what they call the global navigation menu. This is like school institution wide stuff. Uh, an important, you know, you can get your courses, your dashboard is right there. An important one is student services, student support. You can get to success centers, counselors, health center, all that stuff. There's information on that tab there. So please do check that out. Here's our menu. And you can see some of them have this like crossed out eye. That's because we're in the teacher mode. Let me show you uh, if I go to student view, what this looks like. See, there's very few options. I like to, to cut down on that to make it easier to navigate. Here's the landing page. There's stuff, there's the syllabus always available, a little welcome video. Probably some of this you've already looked at if you're watching this video. This is a little more buried, but you know, just to show you this stuff, a little information about the course, link to more resources. This can also be found here in the student support um, tab. A little bit about me personally, some information about how to contact me. By far the best way is email. I have my phone number in here, but um, I don't, you know, I don't answer my phone usually. I'll get your message, but it's better to email me. And then links to all the modules. It's an 18 week course. Uh, and if you're wondering, you know, why the freaky eyeball? Well, we're focusing on conspiracy theories to a certain extent this semester. So I have the Illuminati um, pyramid there. So anyways, just a little, little fun on the homepage. The most important tab, uh, well, there's the Owl of Purdue, which is a great writing resource, but the most important tab for me organizing the course is the Modules tab. Uh, if you come here, I'll show you a couple things. Uh, I have a, a separate module here that has all the instructions for the essays and other uh, major <clears throat> assignments that we'll be doing this semester. Uh, there's a reading portfolio. There's two major essays, but there's a whole bunch of like writing assignments. They're just not called essays. So there's a, you know, a reading portfolio, there's a group project which involves, uh, you know, a written uh, component, there's a report that also has a written component. So two formal essays, if you want to call it that, and a number of other writing um, projects. So all the information will be there with the deadline. More will appear as we get, as we get further in the course. I like to keep things streamlined. Uh, the module zero, this is where you are right now. You're looking at the Canvas walkthrough. There's information mostly about the, the Canvas side of things um, and how things are organized, how you can navigate that. And here's a typical uh, module. It goes week by week, so um, unit one, week one. So there will be an overview with just a list of what we're doing that week. Try and try to keep it, you know, organized in point form, bullet bullet points, some objectives, so you have an idea of how I'm envisioning our, your, well, our progress through this part of the course and your learning goals during this week of the course. So really good uh, to review that, just to conceptualize what I'm trying to get out of this week of the course and how you should prepare yourself. Then what we're doing in class on the Monday, what we're doing in class on the Wednesday, and what you need to do for, between um, class meetings to prepare for class, right? So online before Tuesday, August 15th at 11 15th. And why it says Tuesday, um, this is homework that you need to complete before we meet on Wednesday, right? So that's why I listed as Tuesday and this one is Sunday uh, so that there's a deadline before class, right? So I want you to read this chapter from the textbook before Sunday, August, or before um, uh, we meet on Monday, August 21st. That's why the deadline is Sunday, August 20 at midnight, right? So this is a very typical breakdown of tasks. 
per uh, module, right? Overview, objectives, what we're doing in class, what you need to prepare for the next class, what we're doing in that class, uh, what you need to prepare for the following class, and there will always be information about the major writing project that we're working on during that unit of the course. There are four units in the course, so there'll be four major projects. Plus, this is an honors course, so there is a couple other things to, to complete throughout the semester. But I'll be talking about that uh, in person, uh, ad nauseum, I'm sure. A, also, there's a link in every module to my office hours. So I am available in person. Um, I'm on the Rancho campus Monday and Wednesday, and then uh, the Fontana campus on Tuesdays. But I'm also available online, so you don't need to meet with me in person. For office hours, I'm also uh, available via Zoom. So um, that's it. That's uh, how I organize things. All the assignments will be here. As I mentioned, the instructions for essay number one, for example, are right here. And then the submission portal is down here in week four, right? The final draft. So everything is here in the modules tab. Uh, if, you, if you're going through this before the class starts, you're going to notice some things seem sparse, right? Like this doesn't, doesn't have information here. I'm still, you know, tweaking and updating deadlines and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see this fill out as we move through the semester. Okay, that's about it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can email me. Otherwise, have a great day.